Hi, I'm Father Brian Brooks, I'm the pastor of the Church of St. Benedict here in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, and to, to uh, offer today's reflection, today is Tuesday, July the 7th, so hope that you had a blessed uh, and safe uh, Fourth of July weekend. Uh, today's uh, reflection is, it comes from a Blessed uh, Pier Giorgio Forsati. Forsati uh, was an Italian, uh, he lived in, in the city of Turin, part of northern Italy, uh, he uh, was an avid outdoorsman, doors, uh, came from a fairly well-to-do and well-connected family, but he spent a good deal of his, his time, uh, mostly unknown to his family and others, of, of serving the poor, the poorest of the people in Turin, and also had a great devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. He died young. He died in 1925 at the, at the age of 24. And in recent years, he's become seen as, 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 as a patron, particularly for, for, for Catholic youth, particularly young, young men. Uh, of a life dedicated uh, to, to Christ uh, in, in the Eucharist, but uh, also to the, the, those in greatest need. So uh, today's um, meditation is, is titled, uh, Seeking the Abundant Harvest. Prayer is the noble supplication with which we lift up to the throne of God. It is the most efficient means to obtain from God's graces which we need, and especially the strength of persevering in these times in which the hatred of the sons of the devil are breaking out violently against the sheep who are faithful to the fold. In recommending heartfelt prayer to you, I am including all practices of piety, first of all, the Most Holy Eucharist. I urge you with all the strength of my soul to approach the Eucharistic table as often as possible. Feed on this bread of the angels with which you will draw the strength of to fight inner struggles, the struggles against passions, against all uh, adversities, because Jesus Christ has promised to those who feed themselves with the most holy Eucharist eternal life and the necessary graces to obtain it. And when you become totally consumed by this Eucharistic fire, then you'll be able to thank with greater awareness the Lord God who has called you to be part of his flock and you will enjoy that peace with, with, which, with which those who are happy according to the world have never tasted. Because true happiness, young people, does not consist in the pleasures of the world and, and in earthly things, but in peace of conscience, which we have only if we are pure of heart and in mind. So let us persevere in these trying times, especially in our faith in Christ Jesus, particularly as we're called to Eucharistic table and also to adore the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. God bless you and keep you safe.